when to stop disease modifying therapies is a really difficult issue. It's an important issue. Um, and there is a lot of work going on looking at stopping. So there have already been some quite good observational studies which have looked at stopping. Um, and they've approached that in, in different ways. But often what happens is that <clears throat> they've looked at people who have stopped for any reason. And that could be, you know, because they feel that the medication is no longer efficacious, but it could also be because they're planning a pregnancy or because they've had an adverse event. Um, and they, they've they looked at the sort of predictors of people having return of disease activity and the sorts of predictors are the things you'd probably expect. So in younger patients who've had recently, recently active disease, by which I mean recent relapses, recently active scan, um, then, you know, they're more likely to have return of disease activity when their DMT is stopped. And then, of course, the other thing we know is that certain DMTs have this slight tendency in certain people for a rebound of activity. So that's the other thing that's been demonstrated. But I think what's needed and which is ongoing are um, some randomized control trials where people are randomized to either continuing or stopping. Um, and, you know, they're starting to report and I suppose we're hoping that, that they will give us more clarity. But I think the the idea is that, you know, there's a lot to do with patient selection. So as I said, selecting people who are perhaps older, who've had a period of quite long stability already on a medication and who are on a medication that we think is relatively safe to stop um, abruptly. Um, so there's, you know, that three sort of selection of patients. But I think the other thing to say um, that I often talk to patients about is it's not just stopping and then sending someone away. Um, you know, I think it's stopping and then monitoring so that if there is a return of disease activity, ideally we can pick that up before someone has an established worsening of their ability.